Welcome to this lecture on usability and user experience. Let's start with principles of usability. So, in a system that has a good chance of having a high usability, we need to really focus on users and tasks from the very early on. And it's important to understand that this is not um, an HCI researcher and designer thinking of who the user is, of what kind of characteristics that individual would have, but really sort of move away from, as here Gold said it, describing, stereotyping or asserting users, but rather to bring the design team directly in contact with the potential users. A second principle would be empirical measurement. You should either use simulations or prototypes. So really run experimental studies, run ex empirical studies very early in the development process and do an iterative design. So it's not one single empirical evaluation and that's it. It's not one system and that's it. It's a very iterative process. Design, text, measure, redesign and repeat this as often as needed. So there's two examples on this uh, slide illustrating this a little bit stronger, you know. We really not need to know what users do when they use the interactive systems, what their goals are, in which setting, in which context are. If I have dirty hands because I'm crafting, I need an interface that probably doesn't necessarily need me to touch it. If I'm in a operating theater, I really have to take care on the operation itself, but also have very strong um, hygienic requirements. I'm in a very controlled setting, which is highly regulated, has a high education of those people working there. So each of the users come with their task, with their contact, and an important principle of usability is that we, from the very beginning on, start on the users and work with them in the whole process. So why, is it, why does it matter? So there's a, a nice metaphor, uh, the leaky pipe metaphor. So if you think, going back just to the web, you know, if you think you have a lot of individuals who want to just visit that website, maybe sign up for a service, look for a product, and then I reach out to a point where I said, okay, uh, what, uh, what do I click next? Well, okay, I'm losing the first few drops. Well, what does that jargon mean? And then you have a few more people you lose. What does that error actually mean? Uh, there's too many questions here. So if you are losing your individuals because you're not addressing them properly, because you're not speaking the language that they are speaking you, if you are not um, uh, sort of using just the time the individuals have, you're gonna lose it. And the leaky pipe metaphor shows you um, that relatively few succeed. So you really consider to reach out to as many of the target users you want to address with your system. Good, so usability has been identified, addressed by many individuals and one uh, very famous researcher, Jacob Nielsen, who uh, designed and described usability as a quality attribute, it says, okay, if its uh, uh, interface is sort of has a high usability, is it easy to use? You know, so it refers for the question: How do I improve this easy to use? You know, what can I do that during the process I am helping that this product, this software, this service will be usable at the end of the story? So, okay, how does it describe it? So he identified five key quality comments, components: learnability efficiency, memorability, error, satisfaction. But what does it actually mean, you know? Can user actually understand the system when they come to the first time? Can they learn what they can do with it? Once I understood what it's about, you know, is it really efficient, you know? Do I need a lot of time, for example? Is it easy to remember, you know, next time I come back to that system, to that maybe machine, do I really understand how it works from last time or do I really start over again? If I make errors, is it really my error? Is the system forgiving? Is it helping me not to make errors? Can I uh, actually avoid it from the beginning or if there's any, let's say, 
unclear input, will the system help me to correct it? And I'm actually at the end of the day very satisfied with the system. Is it pleasant to use or not? So if I look to all these components and I'm developing an interactive system, we should make sure that the usability quality aspects are all fulfilled and in the coming lectures we will learn how to do this. A proper definition, which might be a little bit dry somehow, is uh, the ISO standard 9241, but I like the definition because it gives you six key elements you need to remember and you can easily recall when you talk about the definition of usability. So the usability is the extent to which a product can be used by specified users to achieve a specified goal with effectiveness, efficiency and satisfaction in a specified context of use. So, it is not that usability means that all products can be used by all users for any kind of goal. No, it is a specific product by specific users, which are specified in, in the beginning, and to achieve a specified goal. And it's not that I'm just happy to use it, but he, uh, the standard that identifies three key aspects. It should be efficient, effective, and satisfactory. So what do we learn here? So a usable interface only works for specified users with specified goals in a specific content. At least it's designed for usability within that framework. And it enables users to achieve their goals, so they're effective, they're hopefully pretty efficient, and they have a satisfactory experience to uh, all of this during the task. So how do we measure that? You know, there's... Um, several mechanisms and we come to back uh, come back to that later but at the beginning three key elements uh, we can understand to measure so how do we measure effect effectivity you doing the right thing you're achieving a specific goal for example you measure the success or failure rate of completing each task you know how does, long does it take me to buy uh, a ticket uh, for the tram um, is am I efficient? You know, I've done it right with minimal deviations. But going back to the ticket machine, you know, how much time did it take me? You know, how many individual steps did I have to do? And was it maybe for a single one-way ticket very long, or was it a quick and short uh, using of the system? And was I satisfied? You know, was the goal I had buying a ticket from the ticket machine was it fulfilled? Uh, was it what I expected? Um, was it easy, in that my sense, easy to use? These are the mechanisms we will um, uh, see if we are defining and identifying, designing, prototyping a system and then set out to measure its usability. But already since many years, usability is not the only quality aspect we are looking at. So we see here two girls playing obviously an interactive game and seem to have fun. So it's a question if anything is efficient and effective, really the only quality parameter we want to look at. And obviously not. So the question is, how do I feel about the system is an aspect that has been uh, prominently looked at in the, in the last decade. So usability is one thing. We heard about effectiveness, efficientness and satisfaction, but it's much too small to capture the whole experience. So my motivations, my emotions and my values, you know. So I really want to focus in user experience. What is the pleasure rather than my performance? How do I feel about the system? And these elements uh, should be also looked at when you're designing an interactive system. This can involve the user's state and previous experiences, what kind of system properties do we find? What is the usage context of, of our system? And uh, in 2004, uh, Peter Mower has uh, presented seven factors uh, of what is sort of that are influencing user experiences. And user experience honeycomb because of the shape of the diagram. So the system as usefulness and usability are elements of this. But is it desirable? Is it valuable? Is it findable? Is it credible? Is it accessible? So it's a much more wider and more faceted 
uh, aspect than just efficiency, effectiveness and satisfaction and we have to take uh, this carefully in consideration. So user experience, extending usability, is about technology that fulfills more than just the instrumental needs in a way that acknowledges its, its use as a subjective, situated, complex and dynamic encounter. So Hassan Saad and Tarkinski have uh, actually described this in a nice diagram. So it's beyond the actual instrumental, but it captures emotion and effect. You know, it is really in the experience, it's situated somewhere, it's maybe temporally bounded, it can be in, an, in a dynamic environment and context. So we really have to look at these because these elements are forming the user experience, the user experience of our interactive system.